because we're talking a permanent underclass in the name of Joe Clark. Uh, they've been picking on LeBron James. Now, Michael Jordan is definitely my GOAT, but LeBron James has been having trouble with his new school, the I Promise School, which is in Akron, Ohio. And everyone seems to be up in arms with LeBron because these children can't pass the minimum basic skills test. Okay, I'm going to say it again. These kids can't pass the minimum basic skills test. These kids in Akron, Ohio, okay, the, the school is obviously turning out factory workers, and none of these children are passing math, mathematics, and everybody wants to point the finger at LeBron. You can't point. LeBron is not Joe Clark. He's not. Of course he went down there as LeBron James, a rich athlete. He was just trying to pour back into his community. We need to point the finger at the fucking school system, okay? Because this I Promise School is a public school in Akron, Ohio. And what I ended up doing, well, first of all, I'm going to read this uh, article for you guys. Let me let me bring this up. Okay, so I'm gonna read this article. And every eighth grader failed state math test at LeBron James backed I promise school. Okay, so I, I guess I don't know what the promise was, but it wasn't to pass math. Not a single eighth grade at LeBron James I promise school in Akron Ohio's passed state math test in three years. So I'm guessing, is this a Hooper school? What Are they playing basketball? What are they doing? Or are we, uh, or is this school uh, for permanent factory workers? Because we're talking a permanent underclass in the name of Joe Clark. A permanent underclass. The school which instructs low achieving students in grades two through eight previously received $1.4 million from LeBron. So LeBron he giving y'all the money despite abundant resources. School has not been able to meet state benchmarks for three years. Not one child passed the state test in math. Okay. So that means LeBron is going to have to hire Mr. Darnell to, to come in there and we got to get this shit together for three years. Not one child passed state test in math. Not one for three years. School board member Valerie McKittrick asked during a review of test data from 2022 to 2023, it, it is discouraging. Keith L Lighty Clifford, the district school improvement czar, replied, we had said all along this journey was going to be difficult because we're starting with kids who are two years or more behind. So I'm going to say this. In LeBron's case, he is trying to help underachieving students. As I will, I am from an inner city public high school, that of Simeon, uh, the vocational, or well, it was vocational at the time. I went there in Chicago, now it's Career Academy. And, uh, you know, going to Xavier, going into the pharmacy program, thank God for HBCUs to help me bridge the gap to teach myself how to learn. And, and you know, th this is what happened. So the board president, Dr. Derek Hart, said the results do not match the amount of resources the school has at its disposal. I believe the pandemic has an impact, but it also has an impact on the non-selected kids as well. And the numbers that we're seeing here would suggest that my non-selected kids who don't have the same number of resources are actually performing better. And I'm just trying to understand why. So I'm going to tell you why. I think the kids who don't have the same number of resources that are performing better probably have a a tighter family unit uh i think one of the biggest problems in our community is the lack of the father uh in the household and i think we need to encourage unity as well as nuclear families in the black community um and i think that will encourage these students um hall continued noting the results did not live up to expectations for school when I primary school started, one of the things I was excited about was I thought this school could be an incubator where ideas could come out of the school that we could take and then inject into the operation of other businesses throughout the district. That's why looking at the data today, I'm disappointed. 
So basically they're just throwing money at shit. Um, and, 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 and listen, I'm gonna play devil's advocate because I even looked up test scores in Akron and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring those. Let me see. Akron, Ohio elementary school math scores. Okay. And we're going to do that for 2023. So let's just see what all of these schools are doing in general, because they're all pointing the finger at LeBron. So this is the Akron City School District. Um, the whole school district has a fucking three out of 10. Okay. You're at the bottom of uh, 50th percentile. Uh, Akron City School District ranks among the top 20% of public school district in Ohio. Uh, Ac okay. For 2023, they have 47. In Akron City, this district average test ranking is three out of 10, which is in the bottom 50%. So all of the schools are fucked up. So we don't need to point the finger at LeBron. We need to point the finger at the whole fucking Akron, the city of Akron, Ohio, and how fucked up the whole system is. It's not LeBron. LeBron tried to pour in money and resources to help his community, and he needs to be applauded for that shit. He can't, he can't be in the NBA and teach classes at the same time. So to sit here and for people to use LeBron as a whooping boy is wrong. That does not speak to the problem. The problem is the whole fucking school system which is just passing black children who can barely fucking read or write. You, you, you have a, the school district's graduation rate of 81% has increased from 74%. So you're letting the children walk out without being able to read or do math. These are your math score. This is 22%. This is what I'm talking about. This is, this is terrible. Look at this shit. These are their math scores. Okay. 22% and 50%. They're in the bottom 50. They 690 out of 897 school districts. Okay. This is where they rate. So it's not LeBron. We can't point the finger at LeBron. We have to point the finger at the system. And then we have to do something about it. We have to change this. So I think everybody should go to vouchers and you make these schools more competitive. You start firing people, you let capitalism come in and take place. And then we get the best schools uh, for the buck, but shout out to LeBron. I'm not going to knock LeBron for what he did for the school and to anybody ridiculing him. What the fuck have you done? Absolutely nothing. You, you're sitting at home you know, you, you, you're in your underwear, you're tweeting, and you're just commenting shit, and you're doing absolutely nothing. And here's a little bit more. These are quick stats. These, this is district, I guess this is district 47. This is the name of it. These are quick stats. 20,115 students. You got a student ratio of 14 to 1. 71% is minority. Graduation rate is 81%. And the 81% that graduate are in the bottom 50% of Ohio. I'm talking permanent underclass. Overall district rate is bottom 50%. Math proficiency, 22%. Reading proficiency, 30%. LeBron can't hoop and come teach, bro. He is giving y'all the resources that y'all need to do right by that shit. But what y'all probably doing is doing uh, bureaucratic shit and robbing, taking the man's money, stealing, you, you know, just nigga shit. That's what's happening. So we need to stop it. We need to stop it, man. We need to stop it. Let's not blame my brother LeBron for this. And I'm, uh, I'm going to applaud uh lebron actually thank you lebron for doing what you do brother 
You know what I mean? Like I'm not about to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on my man. I'm not gonna hate on him. That's right. Shout out to LeBron for even attempting to help our children. We need people to help our children. And we also need to go to like family unit. Please, uh, brothers and sisters, be careful who you lay with. You know what I'm saying? We, we got to just take more accountability. None of us are perfect, but I just want us to all be conscious and to know that family is the key. All right?